Will the jury find the defendant, Gerald Goins, guilty of the felony murder as charged? Former HPD narcotics officer Gerald Goins found guilty for the murder of two people in the 2019 botched Harding Street raid. And we go over the moment after the judge read the jury's decision. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Daniela Guzman, a former Houston police narcotics officer charged with the murders of Regina Nicholas and Dennis Tuttle for that botched no knock warrant raid on Harding Street in 2019. Gerald Goins was the mastermind behind that deadly January day. A jury of 12 convicting him in less than 24 hours. My colleague KPRC2 anchor Keith Garvin is live outside the Harris County Criminal Justice Center to kick off our coverage with the bench. Keith? Well, Daniela, Gerald Goins headed to prison for killing those two homeowners on Harding Street. He was taken away not in handcuffs, but still to be processed like any other prisoner in this state. Joining me here now is KPRC to investigate tomorrow. Diaz Mar, we, we've been covering this story, sharing it now for several years. Uh, we saw two families finally see Lady Justice tip in their favor. And what you saw was an emotional pendulum swing from one end of the courtroom to the other because going into today, many people thought that enough had been presented in Gerald Goins' favor to not have him be convicted of murder. But then you had the verdict come down as guilty. And you saw the Tuttle family just express so much elation. They were happy that finally, after more than five years and after their family's legacy had been muddied by HPD and others, that they got the justice that their loved ones deserved. Dennis and Regina were murdered. But then you look at the other end and you had Gerald Goins, who was completely surprised by the decision. He was walking around with much confidence in the days leading up to this verdict. Today, we caught him in the hallways. He waved our cameras. He was in good spirits until they started to walk into that courtroom. And that jury never once made eye contact with him or his team. And Keith, it was then that you realized that in the courtroom, the theater of the unexpected, you had the unexpected happening in front of everyone. Gerald Goins, HPD officer, guilty of murder. Okay, un unexpected, the key term. Okay, Mario, thank you. And uh, we have now Letitia Quinones Hollins and Rick DeToto. They are joining us live now. You two, it's been a very busy day as, as our uh, legal analyst for sure. Okay, so we now know that the punishment phase is about to begin. Walk us through that. Rick, you want to go first? So it's like a mini trial. They're going to have opening statements, they're going to present evidence, they're going to have closing statements, and the jury gets to deliver but the prosecution will be put on put on any bad acts that they have evidence of regarding Gerald Goins and the defense will put on things like family members to say he's a good family member and the jury will get to decide um, what his punishment is going to be. The interesting thing is going to be to see if the prosecution has any evidence of prior issues surrounding warrants. Did he forge any other warrants? Did he lie on any other warrants and how that affected the people involved? So I'm really curious to see the evidence that the state puts forward in punishment. Letitia, this is a phase where more evidence can come out. Absolutely. There will be more evidence that will come out, and the evidence that will come out will speak directly to Goins' character. Anything that he's done bad in the past, as well as anything that he's done good, I suspect that we're going to see family members testify about Goins. I suspect that we're going to see people in the community that he may have helped as a police officer, someone he's protected in the past before. I suspect we'll see a lot of evidence such as that. And then the end, the jurors are going to weigh that and determine what is the appropriate sentence for him. You know, their, their sentence was uh, so quick and, again, so unexpected. Yeah. Uh, so how do we expect that to play in their deliberations in terms of his, his, his sentence? I think that's going to be very interesting to see how long it's going to take them to reach a verdict. Now, I will say this. I would be worried, and the reason I would be worried, Mario, is primarily because of how long it took them to come back with the guilty verdict of murder. Right. It didn't take them long at all. What was it, over a week or so, two weeks trial? And it took about six hours to come back with the guilty verdict of felony murder. So those jurors are upset about what they heard. So it's going to be interesting. Yeah, Rick, what can the de defense do to potentially help lower the time he might get in prison? So they have to personalize him. They have to bring in family and friends that can tell stories about him and say, you know, he's a good a dad or a good uh, son and tell stories about his youth and coming up to try to let the jury know that this isn't the only side of him. All they've heard is bad evidence about Gerald Goins. The defense now has an opportunity to present good evidence to personalize him and let them know, hey, there's another side to Gerald Goins besides what you've heard in this courtroom. Right. 
Okay. All right. Thank you both, Mario. Thank you as well. Uh, before we send it back to the studio, the uh, city of Houston is not commenting tonight on the trial. Uh, we do know that the uh, Nicholas family released a statement in the last hour saying, in part, the Nicholas family is grateful for the jury verdict. The jury saw this case for what it was. Uh, this is a very important case. This is the reason why we took you inside of it with the bench bar. You wanted to add? Very quickly, there is still a gag order. That's why you didn't hear from defense attorneys today. You didn't hear from the prosecutors. And we do know there's a case involving the city of Houston still. So for that reason, we might not be getting any comments from the city just yet. Okay. All right. We know you're going to be uh, there tomorrow morning. And uh, tonight at 10. And tonight at 10 o'clock. But uh, tomorrow morning you'll be there as Absolutely. the sentencing phase begins at yes. 8 o'clock. Okay. All right. Uh, sentencing phase, you catch up everything uh, leading up to the convention, conviction of Gerald Goins at ClickTHouston.com. For now, Daniela, we'll send it back to you. I'll see you tonight in the studio at 10 o'clock.